Where did I put it? I can't believe I've lost it again. I had it just a few days ago. Mom's going to be upset with me. She's always telling me to keep things organized. Marilyn, why aren't you ready yet? Mom, have you seen my CV? I can't find it anywhere. Where did you put it? I don't even remember. I've been carrying it around with me everywhere. When will God finally grant me favor? Sweetheart, it's going to happen when it's meant to happen. You can't brush these things. Well, God must be taking his sweet time. Dear, we should focus instead on the good things he's done for us this year. What good things? I haven't achieved anything yet. All my childhood friends will be home for Christmas soon. They'll ask me questions I don't have answers to. It's like I'm cursed or something. Marilyn, you're not cursed, and success is not measured solely by the job you have. I just want to make you proud, Mom. I want to be successful and prove that I can make it. You've already made me proud, my dear. You'll achieve your dreams in God's own time. Don't rush. Trust the process. I'll search the upper shelves while you search the lower ones. It's got to be here somewhere. What is going on here? Why is everything scattered? Marilyn is looking for her papers. It's missing. Missing papers? Didn't you leave them in my room the other day you used my printer? You mean you've seen my documents? Yep, they're in my room. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next time, scan them and email them to the employer. It's way easier. They want the physical copies for the interview. It's already past 10. Isn't your interview at 10 a.m.? What? Oh no, I'm running late. I need to go take a quick bath. Hi, my name is Marilyn. I have an interview set for this morning. I'm sorry, but your interview was scheduled for 10 a.m., and it's already past 11 a.m. I can't admit you. What? Please. There was an unexpected delay, and I rushed here as soon as I could. I really wish I could help. Can't you make an exception for me just this once? Please have mercy. It's not that I don't want to admit you. It's just that the person who was supposed to interview you has gone out to take care of other obligations. He's not coming back anytime soon. What should I do now? I was really looking forward to this interview. You can email him and explain the situation. Ask if it's possible to reschedule. But I have to say, I doubt he'll agree to it. He is quite a difficult person. He has once advocated that an employee who called in sick not get paid for the days they were absent. I doubt he'd listen to your explanation. Mom, I miss the interview. I really thought this was my chance. It's okay, dear. These things happen. It's not fair. It's like God doesn't like me. He blesses all my friends, but not me. Sweetheart, you can't measure your blessings by comparing them to others. Everyone has their own path and their own timing. I'm tired of waiting. Well, let this be a lesson in being more organized. I always tell you to be well prepared and on time for everything you do. I'll try, Mom. LinkedIn jobs are becoming increasingly misleading these days. Wait. This one looks authentic. A junior developer position at a health tech startup. Sounds interesting. It's in a different state. I'm sure they'll agree to do an interview via Zoom or something. Wow, this could be the one. I'm going to apply. Thank you, Lord, for watching over my children and for being a faithful God who never sleeps nor slumbers. You are the Father to the fatherless, our ever-present Father, guiding and protecting us in every step we take. I declare your promises of protection and provision for my children. 
Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. I declare that you are their help in every moment of need, and you provide them with the strength to overcome any challenge that comes their way. Wow! An interview invitation. This is incredible. They think my CV is beautiful. I can't believe it. Wait, it says here they need applicants to be physically present. Is this a way to screen out people? Ha! Huh. I will take the trip and stay at a hotel. But I don't have that kind of money. What do I do now? Mom, I've got some exciting news. I received an invitation for an interview. It's a big opportunity. That's wonderful, Marilyn. I'm so proud of you. Tell me all about it. Well, the interview is in another state, and I'll need money for the trip and a hotel stay. I don't have that kind of cash right now. Don't worry, dear. I'll give you the money you need for the trip. Thank you, Mom. I don't know what I'd do without your support. I'll go a day to the interview so I don't have to spend too much money. It's okay. Perhaps this will be the one that leads to the job you've been seeking. You know what they say about Christmas. A time for miracles. Dara. What a pleasant surprise. It's been a while. I'm home to celebrate Christmas with my family, and I thought I'd drop by to see Marilyn. But Christmas is still a month away. Is your boss okay with that? Well, I run my own company. I don't need to get permission from a boss to take time off. Besides, I think I've made enough money this year. It's time I sit back and enjoy the fruit of my labor. That's wonderful. Come in. Marilyn's inside. Thanks. I can't wait to catch up with her. Guess what? Dara's here to see you. Dara? Really? I'm not in the mood to see anyone right now. Can you tell her I'm not at home? Marilyn, I already told her you were here. Just come out and say hi. It won't take long. You two used to be such good friends. Fine, I'll come out and say hi. I hope it's a short visit. <laughs> it's been ages. You won't believe all the incredible things that have happened in my life. I run my own company now, and it's doing great. We've expanded to multiple cities, and I couldn't be happier with the way things are going. That's wonderful, Dara. I'm so happy for you. Oh, and my boyfriend has been amazing. He's been so sweet and loving. I think he might pop the question soon. That's great news, Dara. So, Marilyn, what have you been up to lately? What's your job at the moment? Well, the company I was working for folded up, so I've been unemployed for a while. Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay. I have an upcoming interview with a health startup next week, and it looks promising. Plus the pay is really good. Oh, that's nice, I guess. I hope you get the job so you'll finally be able to start giving back to your mom. The poor woman has been the sole provider since you lost your dad. She must really be disappointed by your joblessness. Well, I'm working on getting back on my feet. What about your love life? Are you in a relationship? No, I'm not in a relationship at the moment. Girl, it's important to have someone special in your life. How does being jobless and single makes you feel? Ahem. <coughs> Dara, I need to go back inside. I have some things to take care of. Oh, did I say something wrong? Not at all. I'm just busy inside. Of course. Good luck with your interview. Thanks. I think I've gotten everything I need for the trip. I just need to make sure I have all the important documents and I'll be ready. That's good to hear, dear. You don't want to miss your flight. I have to commend you for finishing up on time. Thanks, 
Mom. I've been organizing my stuff since morning, I want to see the devil that will stop me from getting there on time this time. That's good. Can we say a little prayer for protection and favor? I could use all the blessings I can get. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity you've given to Marilyn. We ask for your protection and favor upon her as she embarks on this important journey. Watch over her, guide her steps, and grant her wisdom and confidence during her interview. May everything go smoothly and may she find success. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. You've got this. This is a nightmare. I can't believe I might miss my flight. What am I going to do? Sir, is there any way we can beat this traffic? Perhaps find an alternative route or something? I have an important flight to catch. Ma'am, it will be hard to find a way around it. The traffic is quite heavy today. Why do I face so much bad luck? I can't afford to miss this interview. I'm sorry you have to experience this today of all days. I'm sorry ma'am, but your plane has already departed. What? Is there any way I can get on another flight to my destination? I have an important interview coming up. I'm sorry, but there are no more flights to your destination today. Are there any connecting flights? I can't afford to miss this interview. I'm afraid there are no connecting flights either. The next available flights are for tomorrow. I can't believe this. I am supposed to have my interview very early in the morning. I'm really sorry to hear that. <laughs> Marilyn? I missed my flight. Same goes with my chance at that job. What happened? You left home on time. There was a terrible traffic. I couldn't make it to the airport on time. I'm so sorry to hear that. Don't worry my dear. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. There could be a better job waiting for you. Please, don't mention God to me. If God loved me, he wouldn't have taken my dream job away from me. Marilyn, don't lose faith. Sometimes, challenges and setbacks happen for a reason. They can lead us to something better in the end. <laughs> I can't believe this happened again. I worked so hard for that opportunity, and now it's gone. There is definitely a curse on my life. Don't say that. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Enough of your toxic positivity, Mom. Breaking news just in. There has been a tragic plane crash in the early hours of today. Details are still emerging, but it appears to be a devastating incident. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the affected families. Stay tuned as we provide updates on this unfortunate event. <laughs> Marilyn, come quickly. You need to see the news. What's going on, Mom? Look, it's the news. There has been a plane crash. Wait, that's... That's the flight I was supposed to be on today. Really? <laughs> Thank God you missed that flight. This is a miracle. I could have been on that plane. We have to thank God for keeping you out of harm's way. Thank you, God, for sparing my life today. I didn't know why my plans were disrupted, but now I know and I'm grateful to be safe and sound. Marilyn, this is a reminder that sometimes, disappointments are blessings in disguise. Yes, Mom. Imagine all the unseen battles he's fought for us. Yet I've been ungrateful because I have no job. I'll never question God again.
Marilyn, you won't believe who came by earlier. Who, Mom? It was your friend, Josephine. She came to see you, but I didn't let her in. You know, considering how you've been avoiding your friends lately because of your unemployment situation. Mom, you shouldn't have done that. I thought it was what you wanted. Remember what happened with Dara? I was ignorant then. But I'm not anymore. I've been blessed with life, Mom. That's something to be grateful for. You're right, Marilyn. We have so much to be thankful for. I'll go see her right now. See who? Josephine. That sounds like a great plan. Hey Marilyn. Hi Dara. How did your interview go? Did you get the job? No. I didn't. Oh, Marilyn, I'm so sorry to hear that. It must be very disappointing. I hope you don't let the news ruin your holiday. No. It won't. I have so much more to be grateful for. Why aren't you mad about losing a job opportunity? In life, success comes to those who hunger and yearn for it. But I don't see that in you. Well, the Bible says all things work together for good to them that love God. All I can do is keep moving forward and trust that my time will come. How can a sane human be happy over mediocrity?